I figured it would be helpful to make a short video showing what's included here with this Olympus Infinity Stylus Epic that I'm selling here. And it's got the original box. And we can see the box is in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of wear and tear on it. And it's certainly not perfect, but it's all here. And let's uh, look at what's inside and what's included. Here we have the camera in this Olympus case. The case is actually very nice. It's got a belt loop on the back. A place for the strap to come through here. And so you can carry it well, while it's in the case. The case opens this way. It's a Velcro closure cover. There's a snap on the top here that we can slip the, uh, the cord from the strap out and we can actually pull it all the way out and, and separate the case. Otherwise you can leave it tethered to the case. So here's the camera itself. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of abrasion here and I see right here. Um, but generally a pretty nice example. It's the one with the quartz date back. And uh, what I thought we'd do is put it through some basic tests. So I do have a scrap roll of film and a battery. Now these are not included in the sale but they are here just to help us uh, inspect this. So I'm going to put the battery in and close the door. It's got a good uh, the door closes properly and if we now look here on the back we can open it up and everything looks good inside. I don't see any problems with the frame. The uh, gasket looks good going all the way around the back of the door. So let's load this film here. We can just uh, put that in like that and bring this up and push it up toward where the red mark is in there. And then we'll close the back. And we hear the motor running. And so now when I slide the cover open here we should see that it's up to picture number one. Yes it is. There we are. Now this one also has the ability to put the date on here so while we have this here let's try this setting. And the little uh, tool that is on the uh, strap helps to push these tiny little buttons. So let's uh, do here for the mode and it comes up January 1st 1996 and so we don't want to have that there so we hold that button in and we can change it to different modes and the time and back to there now if we do if we hold this in there the year starts blinking and I think I can get this with my fingernail here too but there we can set 97, 98 we hold this in it'll start counting up as high as it goes 28 29 30 and back to 96 so the calendar goes up through the year 2030 so if we wanted to set this to today 17, 18, hit the mode switch, change that, now we're setting the month, 5, whoop, I missed it, One, two, three, four, five, and all the way up to up to the 23rd okay and then if we wanted to set the clock whatever time it is we're just demonstrating that that works okay so there we've got May 23rd 2018 picture number one and if we leave it like this it will imprint that on the picture but let's just uh, fire the shutter here and see how it works. First of all, let's uh, hit the flash button 
and turn the flash off so it doesn't try to shoot. Okay, there we heard, we saw the lens come out, the shutter activated and went to picture number two. Now let's set for the timer. And now, what's going to happen, here the little red light is on here, and we'll see it blink, and then it will complete the cycle. Okay, now let's uh, turn the flash on so that it forces it to flash. And then we're going to point this off this way here. And we saw the flash work. Now we're going to set it here to the red eye position. There we go. And we'll see it do a series of flashes. Okay, so we saw that part functioned well. And then I'm just going to set it to no flash and just pop off the rest of the exposures in this roll. I don't know how many there are, but we're just going to waste them. Notice this is the one with the 2.8 lens. Oh, I think we are, are we at the end? Not quite, no. Let's do, let's turn that flash off so we're not unnecessarily wearing down the battery. To 17. Okay, there are we at the end. There are 20 pictures on that piece of film that I had cut. So now we're watching it count back, 18, 17, 16. And if I were to close the cover, it shuts the display down, but it keeps winding. If I were to open it back up, we can just see where it is. So we'll let that rewind. Okay, there it's at one. And it winds just plenty. There I heard it come free of the take-up spool. Make sure it winds it all the way back into the cassette. Okay, so now it's a flashing E. We know it's safe to pop the back open. And all of the film has now been wound back into this cassette. And if we wanted to, we could send this in for processing if these were real pictures. But, of course, we're not going to do that. So while we have it open here, take one more look here, nice close-up look, and everything looks really good here. I don't see any signs of problems. There's no chipping, no cracks anywhere on here, um, and the gasket looks good, and it mates properly. The uh, latches for the door fit properly and snap properly. The cover slides nicely. The battery door opens properly. And if it, let's take this battery out now since we're done with our testing and look in there. We can see nice and clean contacts. And the rubber is good here. And the latch is good and it snaps properly. We'll put it back in the case and set it so that the case is tethered to it with that snap. And there we have the camera in the case with the strap. And let's look at what else is in the box here. We have the owner's manual and a warranty card that has a serial number that I should have checked here. The number on the camera and the number on the card are both 7133118, so they're matching. So this has always been together. And in the box here we also have this in the bottom here. Some other paperwork 
kind of a little envelope. Looks like oh, here date of purchase December 2000. Somebody wrote on here and uh, some other notices and what's this information about service centers I believe. So this is a fairly uh, nice unit here to have with all of this paperwork, the manual, warranty card, and uh, nice to have the original box, a nice case like this, and as we've just watched, it uh, is functioning and, and doing a good job, so it should be one of the nicer ones out there allow you to take great pictures with this famous camera with the large f2.8 large aperture lens.